Hi, this is Mike Henriksen from Strata Hadoop World 2013 in New York City. I'm here with Mike Olson. Mike, how you doing? Doing good, thanks for the opportunity. Sure, so you gave a really great keynote this morning. Thank you. And what, what I liked about it was you were talking about the future, where big data is going. Yeah. Can you talk to us a little bit about where big data is going and specifically where it's going in the enterprise world? Yeah, I think it's a really important transition that's now underway. You know, this big data platform Hadoop was transformative when it was invented and when it proliferated in the consumer internet. But some of the key enterprise grade capabilities, and in particular, think about things like security, manageability, governance, yeah, failover, fault tolerance, the ability to, to continue running mission critical operations, that didn't exist in the beginning and has emerged over time. At this point, we see now this platform in mission critical deployments in large enterprises across a wide variety of verticals attacking a wide variety of problems, but that deployment already demands enterprise grade manageability, infrastructure, basically all the assurance that a traditional enterprise requires for infrastructure that it's using to run the business. That, that's happened now, and the availability of those capabilities is driving this big data platform, this enterprise data hub, to use the term from my keynote, into much broader use across the industry. So as this enterprise hub uh, expands and grows, the ecosystem for tooling and services built on top is going to obviously get bigger. Yeah. So can you talk to us a little bit about how you see that evolving as well? Do, do we need so many tools or do we just need a few great ones? One of the knocks on Hadoop historically has been skill sets are thin on the ground, no applications, lots of customization, complicated and troublesome, right? If you go back 30 years, I came up in the relational database industry, the identical litany of complaints was made about relational databases at the time. We'll skill the industry up with new training, we'll proliferate the platform and get people more familiar with it, and that'll help drive adoption. But the real way we're going to solve this issue of you know complicated and difficult to use is with software. So I'm thrilled at the emergence of these new tools and new applications. Traditional systems, guys already know. In addition, new apps that are aimed at getting value from monetizing multi-structured data in a data hub in ways that were previously impossible. I don't think that there are too many. In fact, if you look at the relational industry, there are many, many more. There's a real wealth of apps and tools. Yeah, some of them do financials and ERP. But you can buy golf course management applications. That's when a platform is successful yeah. in the long term. Yeah, mature as well. That's exactly right. Yeah, so where is Cloudera and your Enterprise 5 going in the future with what you've got? And, and what, what is Enterprise 5? Yeah, so, so I'll make a few points. First of all, uh, we've been in business now for five years and a little bit. We've been delivering this platform to enterprise users over that entire time. What we've announced here at the conference, beta release of Cloudera Enterprise 5, is the fifth major release of the platform. We've gone from, five years ago, MapReduce and Scale-Out Storage, to a rich collection of real-time and batch mode, analytic data processing, data exploration engines, security and data governance and fault tolerance and failover, all those capabilities I talked about, in order to drive it into enterprise adoption broadly. If you're going to put a lot of data in a hub, if you're going to land a lot of your data in one system, you need plenty of ways to get at that data. You need query, you need search, you need machine learning, you need real time and data processing engines. And we've delivered there, but we're only getting started. I, I announced from the stage today our relationship with Databricks to move the in-memory Spark processing engine into our hub. We'll continue to drive innovative components, engines, projects into that ecosystem in order to continue the advance. Our vision long-term is that most of enterprise data lives in an enterprise data hub, and the only way that works is if it just keeps getting more capable, so that's where we're going to be driving. Relentlessly at the platform, deeply committed to our open source offering, 
but making sure that year by year it gets better and able to handle more workloads. Excellent. So, do you see different industries uh, adopting big big data and technologies to handle their big data more you know, rapidly than other ones? If you look backward, no question that the early adopters of this platform, financial services, government, retail and telco, yeah, yeah. any new sector, any new technology that emerges, especially for the enterprise, always racks up that scorecard early, right? Um, great beginnings there and, and significant deployment of wonderful use cases, right? But today, we're running really interesting deployments in healthcare, and that's both pharma, drug design, yeah. and healthcare delivery, payment Patient systems, care. and so on. Uh, in energy, exploration, oil and, oil and gas, and utilities that are distributing information and basically monitoring systems. Um, I would say that this platform is going to be as successful as the, or the last generation of new data management, relational databases, across a wealth of industries. We're really seeing the knee of the curve right now, breaking out of the early stage deployments, breaking out of proof of concept, and into the center the of these steep, big enterprises. We're still on the steep slope though, right? Exactly right, yeah, exactly yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. And, and, and I think that that growth is going to continue for a number of years. Look around the conference hall today, you will see intense interest by buyers and by vendors in making this platform better. So Mike, if there was one problem in the world that you could solve with big data, what would you set big data on to solve? So, one of the privileges of being at Cloudera is we get to work with really exciting enterprise customers and organizations that are attacking data in new ways. And I can give you a litany, right? I mean, clean water production, better yeah. food production, yeah. uh, Distribution distributing food. more energy better. Um, an issue much in the press right now, and I think a really significant issue for us as a society, is good delivery of healthcare. Better patient outcomes, more affordably. This platform is being used to capture and manage electronic medical records to reason in deeper ways than ever before about how physicians are getting good outcomes for patients how we can intervene earlier to prevent acute system, uh, acute outbreaks of chronic disease. I think that is a hugely important social problem. Economically, it costs us a lot, but for quality of life. And look, we're a humble database company. We build the platform. We're not building those applications that solve that problem on top, but we make it possible with the platform to attack data in that way. Data will transform society in the coming 10 years. Absolutely convinced of it, and I think healthcare is right for that sort of solution. Excellent, Mike, thank you for your time. We look forward to seeing you at future uh, Strata Hadoops. Mike, always a pleasure, thanks. Thanks. thanks for the opportunity. Thank you.